has it. Are you going? Uh -huh. <laughs> come on, come on, man. Fine. Come on, hey, don't be a whip. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> You'll love it. No, no, go for it. Hey, 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 come on. Come on. Set to go there, Eric. Born to be wild. Mike, you ready? This is crazy. We're all gonna die. on you guys, okay? You got a death wish, Castle, you know that? A goddamn death wish. what I tell you guys? I'm invincible. I think the word is intoxicated. Thank you very much. Yeah, just try playing drunk. Fish to the gills. Loaded. Right? Shit faced. You lady. Hey, here's the point of no return, you monkey. Point of no return. Body, beauty, no brains. Hey, what are you talking about? I like a woman with brains. I love a woman with brains. Yeah, N name one. My mother. <laughs> <laughs> mom! Hey, mom! Come back! Don't leave me! <laughs> I gotta get that girl. <laughs> Great ass, baby. You know that? <laughs> Bitch. I'll teach you some manners. Listen, pal, this is none of your business. Towns? Sure. I haven't seen you around here before. Vacationing with my buddies. They needed a break from the Dow Jones. Uh, you are the stockbroker. Oh, them, not me. I'm a stunt driver. Stunts? Yeah, I do stunts for movies. Car gags are my specialty. Ooh, isn't that like flirting with death? I don't know. I never had the pleasure. He needs love. Don't forget, we leave at 9 a.m. sharp. Did you say 10? Nine, Castle. Every time, man. Every fucking time. So you're, um, Swedish, like the Volvo? No. 
Swiss like the cheese? <laughs> no, I'm Norwegian. Ah, like the smoked salmon. A very beautiful smoked salmon. Well, thank you, I think. Billy, Billy Castle. People call me Angel. I'm not surprised. You're different from the others, aren't you, Billy? What I mean is, you're special. Nah, I'm just the average Joe. No, you attract people. I picked you out of this cloud in a minute. I never said I wasn't lucky. I believe in luck. I believe when you meet someone, you know exactly what's going to happen. Let's get out of here. You live here? Yeah, well, I'm new in town. It's not exactly home sweet home, is it? You expecting someone? Actually, I was. You. Me? I watched you go into the bar with your friends. And I was hoping. I'm not very good at meeting people. What exactly do you want, Angel? Money? What was that toast you and your friends made? To the point of no return. Yeah. To the point. Remember Idaho? I remember. I got a closing this afternoon. There's no way in hell I'm missing it just so Billy Castle can get one more piece of ass. Okay, we to find his own way home. We're out of here. This is his truck. Let's go! Okay. Now, Detective, this man's hemorrhaging. He needs an eternal examination. It's been out cold for two days. The evidence ain't getting any warmer, so why don't you just chill, sister? Now, did anybody else know that you were up there? No one, just the guys that went with Mike and Eric. How well you know these guys? My best buddies. You sure? Oh. Oh. Remember something? That's enough, Detective. You think of something? Contact Sheriff Webster. This is his office phone number. I'll fax my uh, report down to him and the statement you gave me in the ambulance. That's all I can do. It's out of my jurisdiction. We'll see ya. Good luck. 
Celebrating of some sicko act you love. This was no hack job. This was the work of a highly skilled surgeon. And except for the slight hemorrhaging, and sometimes that happens, I call it a flawless nephrectomy. Great, maybe you should hire him on your staff. Bedside manner. How much do you smoke anyway? Uh, not much. I don't know. A uh, pack or two. Maybe I should consider another doctor. Well, that's up to you. Look, when a person's been victimized, often emotions become suppressed. Feelings of isolation and helplessness. This is all very fascinating, but my problem is physical, not emotional, right? All I'm saying is if you'd like, I can arrange for psychiatric counseling. What I'd like is my fucking kidney back. The kidney lives 48 hours outside the body, which means most likely it's in somebody else's by now. Why me? Well, it could be your tissue type. It's rare. How would anyone know my tissue type? Well, they wouldn't, not without testing you. The blood workup's quite specific. You ever been sued for paternity? Not yet. Bone marrow test? Uh-uh. Any blood workup at all in the last year? Just my annual physical for work. Was done at. Oh, okay. Well, there's a possibility. Um, if you got hurt and needed a quick change of parts, they'd need to know your type. And then again, it could be as simple as being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Huh. Oh! Oh, are you okay? Sit down. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be tender for a little while. Careful. You're gonna have to make some lifestyle changes. Athletics, for one. No running, jumping, climbing, nothing strenuous. Nothing that could cause an injury to your sutures or your existing kidney. How long? I'd say it's a good bet you can safely kiss off the Olympics. Now, I also want you to lay off sugar, caffeine. I want you to cut your intake of protein. It's hard to filter. And um, losing the cigarettes would be nice. And absolutely no alcohol. No alcohol? Oh, and one more thing. You said you were a stuntman? Yeah, I, not that. Oh, I'm afraid so. Uh, I'm recommending you take a leave of absence from work. Sudden jolts can cause hemorrhaging. Great. I can't eat, drink, or work. Is there anything else I should know about this normal life, Doc? Mm -hmm. How often do they have to be on these things? Two, three times a week for the rest of their lives. Unless, of course, they get another kidney. How do they do that? There's only one way, through OTN. Organ Transplant Network. The candidates are put on a waiting list and they wait. For how long? Sometimes years, maybe never. Hi, sweetie, how are you today? Bridget, this is Billy. Billy, Bridget? Oh, good. Just a few more minutes. Be brave, sweetie, okay? I'll see you in a couple of days, okay? Come on. This, this is terrible. Yes, it is. What if they could pay for a kidney? Well, it's illegal. Tell that to the guys who took mine. Look. There's no black market for kidneys or whatever it is you're thinking. We've been through a terrible ordeal, but you're going to be all right. I just, I just wanted you to see that it could be worse, a lot worse. 
The lab report showed trace amounts of scopolamine in your blood. It's a potent knockout drug. You'll probably feel dizzy for a couple of days until it wears out of your system. Why don't you tell that to the police? I did. Now, if you decide to change doctors, notify the hospital. And if not, I'll see you in a week. Dr. Flynn, how's my favorite nephrologist? I'm gonna go check your discharge papers. Doctor? <laughs> she gone? She's gone. Oh. oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Castle, I'm Jonathan Cross, head resident here. Nice to meet you. I heard about your unscheduled surgery. I can't pretend to know how you're feeling, but it's got to be like hell. You are in good hands, you know, with Dr. Flynn. Cold hands, you mean? They've gotten to know each other, I see. Hey, Doc. Doc, we're almost done in here. I'm freezing my buns off. You're healthy as a horse, Tom. I'll call you in the lab, send in the reports, all right? Cool. You need to talk, I'm around. Thanks, Doc. Okay. Hey, Billy. Hey, Mike. How you doing? Hey, let's get out of here. Everything, everything's great. Oh. It's me. Is it me? No, it's, it's not you. It's just... I'm just a little tired, that's all. Tired? You? Yeah. I'm sorry, I just... I don't know, I just... I just don't feel up to it tonight. What are you saying? You want me to leave? Maybe you should. Okay, fine. I'll leave.
Sheriff Webster, please. Sheriff Webster? Yeah, it's Billy Castle again. Yeah, I know. I just thought there might be some more news. I told you everything I know. How many times I gotta tell you? I don't remember anything else. All right. Yeah, thanks. Hey, congrats, Castle. You finally made the front page. Hey, how about letting us take a look at that scar? Ah, some other time. Hey, come on, I'll show you mine. I said some other hey, time. give it a break. It's been through enough. Hey, Christ, what did you lose, a kidney or your sense of humor? Ah, come on, Billy. Hey, hey, I just want to know one thing. Did you at least get laid first? <laughs> hey, when she's skinny with red hair, that could have been my old lady, you know? <laughs> How you taking all this, Castle? Oh, OK. Do you know what they do with the blood tests and the physicals? Not offhand, why? Could you find out for me? Yeah, I can try. Thanks. So how are you feeling? I mean, really. Truth is, I can't wait to get back to work. Got to get my mind off this thing. My well, doctor called from the hospital. She suggested it would be best if you didn't do any stunts for a while. How long's a while? Three months. <sighs> Listen, I'm fine. Hey, it's only a suggestion, not an order. But I tend to agree with her. Well, I don't. It's what I do. It's who I am, goddammit. Okay. Think you can handle a driving stunt? I got a fairly big ramp gag. It's my specialty. Okay, job's yours. Don't screw it up. Yeah, I'm okay. You're cutting it a little close, Billy. I'm sorry. I guess I screwed up, huh? Listen, I think maybe your doctor was right. Take a rest for a while. Give yourself some time to heal. You had no right to call my boss. No right to barge in here. You take the bread off my table? I drive for a living, you goddammit. You drove for a living. Listen, you. Go ahead, say it. Nothing. You're going to call me a bitch? No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Actually, it was an ironclad bitch. Ironclad bitch? Oh, I can live with that. You have blood on your shirt. Let me check your stitches, lay down. When I was behind the wheel, I started losing it. Oh, yeah, you probably had a panic attack. Shortness of breath, rapid heartbeat, general feeling of impending doom. Yeah, all of the above. Yeah. Well, that's not uncommon after a trauma. Yeah, you... Easy, easy. You've torn these. Look. There's a group that meets once a week, victims of violent crimes. I really think you should check it out. Stitches, Doc. Stitches. He pulled out the knife. I just lay there bleeding. He cut off my clothes. And then he raped me. Over and over again. Then he cut my throat tried to kill me. That night changed my life. I was afraid to be alone and afraid of people. Which sort of makes things difficult, doesn't it? My friends no longer knew how to act around me. One by one, they dropped off.
including my boyfriend. I made them uncomfortable. I can't blame them. I mean, I, I was uncomfortable. Because of some stranger with a knife, I was no longer the, the friend, the lover, <laughs> the girl who liked to dance in the park. I was simply a victim. I realize that in this group. And one day at a time, I'm getting myself back. I may never be the person I was before. Hopefully, I'll be a better, stronger one. I'm Cassie, victim of a violent crime. Thank you. Castle. Ace, we missed you, man. Hey, it's good to be back. You been okay with everything, you know? Yeah, it's all behind me. I've never been better. You really think you should be drinking that much? Hey, it's my life. <laughs> huh? So how you guys doing? Yeah, the usual. Market's up, checkbook's up, dick's up. <laughs> Not a girl. Uh-oh, uh sounds serious. Yeah, yeah, it could be, it could be. Listen, if you're interested, she's got a friend, sexy brunette. Hey, don't you think you should stay away from sexy brunettes for a while? Hmm. Anyway, listen, Mikey just put an offer in on a house. You're kidding. Did you get a sudden windfall? Yeah, I got lucky in the market. Well, here's to you, man. Congrats. Here's to getting lucky. Billy, I didn't mean to scare you. We met at Duffy's party last month. I'm Sandy. Hi. You're gonna call me, remember? Don't apologize. You probably lost my number. Look, I'll write it down. Give me your hand. Billy, you okay? Just think if you'd finished the picture. I'm going back there. Where? The mountains. Bad idea, Billy. Just give it some more time. A month from now, you'll have forgotten all about it. I'll never forget about it, Mike. Don't you see? Someone ripped me open and tore me apart. I'm fucking terrorized. Nothing's the same anymore. Okay, but what choice do you have? You gotta get on with your life, man. My life? What life, Mike? I wasn't meant to be a victim. I'm not gonna be a victim. You read my report. She's lying. It's the other way around. She took me to that motel room, opened up the door with her own key. Listen, I don't like what happened any better than you do. This town's famous for being crime-free. But I've known Karen Nordhoff since she was in diapers. Hell, I eat dinner at her folks every Tuesday. She told me that she met you, you danced a few, then you took her outside, and you all but passed out. And I got no reason not to believe her. Half the people in that bar told me you were drunk as a skunk. What about the motel room? Weren't there any fingerprints? Yeah, there were fingerprints. Yours. Look, I just want to ask her a few questions. Maybe she saw someone follow me. Surely there's no harm in that. Someone cut me open and butchered me. In your town. Look, Sheriff, I'm going to find out who did this to me. I don't care what it takes. I just don't want it to happen to anyone else. All right. 
top of the mountain, Old Elk Road. Karen patrols the bike paths. Thank you. You'd be nice to her, you hear? Nordhoff's are good, upstanding folk. Too. I had to. My father would have killed me if he found out I took money for that. For what? Huh? For what? <laughs> for what? To seduce you. Who paid you, huh? How the fuck I did don't you know, know it was me, I don't huh? Know. What about that one? Oh. Tell me the truth or I swear I'll kill you right here. Tell me! The money and the picture were in a, a post office box. So it was the key. The room was prepaid. The whole thing took over the phone. I didn't. It was a man. He said you were some rich guy who didn't want to drink alone. I got paid 500 bucks to take you to the hotel room. Give you some champagne and leave. That's it, I swear. <laughs> what champagne? Oh, expensive stuff in a nice bucket, don't you remember? You drank half a glass and you passed out, and then I left. What about you? I don't drink. And they told me not to. I left. I didn't hear what happened to you until I read it in the paper. I'm sorry. I didn't know that's what they were going to do. Look, I'll give you the money if that's what you want. You sell champagne? Only place in town that does. Only one kind. Top of the line. Only one kind, huh? Funny thing, I hadn't sold a bottle in a dog's age. Now you're the second this month. Wouldn't happen to remember who bought the other one. Oh, uh, ain't likely to forget a Hunsky a bottle. Somebody called it in over the phone. You're not from the liquor board, are you? Do I look like it? You look like trouble. Believe me, this town's giving you more trouble than anyone deserves. Hey, I know you. You're the boy from the newspaper, the one without the uh, the bladder. <laughs> Kidney. Oh, shouldn't happen to a dog what happened to you. Take a piece of beef jerky if you like. Well, what I'd like to know is who bought that other bottle of champagne. Well, let's see. Should have a charge receipt here somewhere. You've got to keep phone charges for 60 days. Hmm. Ah, here you go. 100 bucks a bottle. You believe that? Hmm. Commercial Bank of Los Angeles. 
Dr. Armin. Armin Paris. Hey, oh. You okay? <sighs> I'll call the doc. <sighs> no. No, it's all right. Just <sighs> thanks for your help, huh? This shot might make you feel a little woozy. Thanks for seeing me right away. These are deep abrasions. Gravel, tire marks. You've been motorcycling? Mountain biking. Mm. Lie down. Oh! Yeah. Careful. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Uh. Hope it was worth it. Uh. Yeah. Uh. There's something under the skin here. I can I can feel it. What? Uh. Uh, you're infecting. I'm gonna have to open this up. So tell me, Doc. What do you got against me? Or is it all men? Huh? You know, it's not healthy eating half the world's population. I realize some of us can be jerks. <laughs> I mean, I'm living proof of that. But we have our good points, too, you know. I mean, you think. What if, you don't even like to work in the garage sometimes, and that's who the men can. Me too, I played in high school. Still up for a good one-on-one -on -one now and then. You play? Did for, uh, for Portland. You're kidding. <laughs> it was only one season. No, that's great. You know you look like a pro athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but uh, I've been in the uh, topiary arts for the last year. The what? I trim hedges. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sue, by the way. Daryl. <laughs> um, can I get you a drink? Uh, a beer would be great. Sandy, uh, could I have another beer, please? Yeah, sure. Oh, come on, man. You live around here? Yeah. A TV's got a snowstorm. I got a TV at my place. And cool beer. If we leave now, we can catch the fourth quarter. I'll even let you shoot baskets into my trash can. <laughs> you live here? My place is being fumigated. You run out of beer. It's uh, pretty expensive stuff. Special occasion. How often does Portland make the playoffs? Here's to Portland. <laughs> so tell me, why'd you only play one season? Nothing glamorous, just, uh, <laughs> coach didn't like my medical history. Well, what kind of history, sweetie? I have a weak heart. Well, at least you don't have a broken one.
Thunder. said this was going to be the last one. He's resting. Oh, dear God. Sleep okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. What's that coffee? You know what I said about coffee. It's decaf. Oh. A little present for you. It was lodged beneath your incision. You're kidding. A contact lens? Yeah. It must have fallen in during the surgery. I can send it to the lab and have them check it out. Maybe find a brand name or something. Yeah, sure. Nothing else in there, I hope. Yeah, just your usual blood and guts. One doctor do a surgery like mine alone? Mm. Doubtful. And certainly not in a motel room. The anesthesia machine weighs 500 pounds. Hmm. But it is portable. Well, I suppose two people could wheel it in and do the surgery. Two competent people. That's pushing it. What the police say? Not much. I'm still working on it. Mm-hmm. And so are you against my specific orders to stay put and rest. Hmm. I'm not used to taking orders from a woman. I'm your doctor. You're also a very beautiful woman. I guess I shouldn't be noticing that, but, uh, I can't seem to help it. Let me make something very clear. I never, under any circumstances, socialize with a patient. Well, that out of the way. Thanks for last night. Do me a favor. Stop the manhunt. Leave that to the police. Doctor's orders? Yes. Now I have to go. Are there any tests you can run? Fingerprints, as hair? As far as I know, you could have swallowed that lens, playing kissy face with some brat. You act like I'm the criminal, for Christ's sake. Look, Castle, we've been through this. I'm sorry for what happened, but it happened somewhere else. I can't get around jurisdiction. And so far, that's all we got to go on. Well, there's something more. The guy who paid for the champagne, Dr. Armin Paris. Yeah. His credit card is from a bank here. I wasn't a random victim. He tracked me. So? Well, don't you see? It makes sense. He finds out I have a rare tissue type, and he follows me out there. How'd he get your blood type? I don't know. Ask him. He's the doctor. All right, we'll look into it. When? When I got time. How long can it take to find one lousy doctor? He's probably in the goddamn phone book. Well, while you're at it, see if he makes house calls. And listen, Castle, you still got one good kidney. Use it somewhere else. Mark, get this guy out of here after his phone call.
Yeah, I'm looking for Armin Paris. He's expecting you? His office told me he was here. It's about his car. Just a moment, please. Mr. Paris, sir. Mr. Gentlemen, here to see you. Thank you very much. You Dr. Paris? That's right. I had to kill you, motherfucking son of a bitch! Fucking ice nice doctor on baby, you thought I was dead, huh? Is that it? I saw your credit card receipt from the mountains. Mountains? Young man, my credit cards were, were stolen. I filed a report to check with the police. But you're a doctor. Yes, of English literature. I'm sorry, but, uh, Thank God. This lunatic threatened to kill me. It was a mistake. I, I There's just... obviously been a misunderstanding. This gentleman is my guest. I don't care whose guest he is. I want him out of here. Now. I'll handle it, Armin. Um, have a drink on me, all right? Shall we? I'm very sorry. It's Mr. Castle, isn't it? Billy. Thanks, Doctor. Cross, uh... Jonathan. You're looking a lot better. How do you feel? All right. Complications? Not really. Good. I thought Paris was the one who you know. <laughs> well, thanks for the help back there anyway. You look as if you could use a drink. Oh, no thanks. I'm on the wagon. Yes, of course, I'm thoughtless. How are you getting along with Lucy Flynn? Better. What's your story, anyway? Do yourself a favor and don't try and find out. Mm, sounds like a case of first-hand experience. We were involved for a while when she first came to the hospital. We got our signals crossed. She wanted something permanent, and I didn't. I could have handled things better. I understand. I have a problem with commitment myself. Billy, for what it's worth, I think you would let the police handle this. You could be endangering yourself again. What do you mean? You are familiar with multiple donor situations, aren't you? No. Obviously, you match someone's blood type, someone rich. If the first kidney doesn't take, they could come back for the second. You know your way out. Well, it's about time to take the coma call, you. Is this him? What's going on? That's him, a parking attendant saw. Hey, this is crazy. The flat tire, pal, destruction of private property. Oh shit. Can you believe it, a lousy flat tire? Someone steals my guts and I end up in jail over a flat tire. You shouldn't have done it, Billy. Yeah, I know. Hey, thanks for bailing me out. No problem. I love missing an important client meeting for this. Most guys are obsessed with their dicks. I can handle that. But a kidney, for Christ's sakes, it can't even come. Whoa, when'd you get this? It was a demo. I practically stole it. I've been thinking, Billy. I think you should take off. I think you should get away from all this. Take a vacation. Vacation's what got me into this mess. OK, try an island this time, Hawaii, someplace you can relax. I don't want to relax. I want to find out who did this to me. You're driving yourself crazy, and I might add, alienating everyone around you, present company included. Look, I'm your friend. I can tell you things, right? It's getting pretty hard to relate to you, Billy. You don't return calls. You don't go out. You don't talk about anything unless it involves your goddamn witch hunt. The truth of the matter is, you're becoming a real pain in the ass. I'm sorry to hear that, Mike. Don't be a jerk. Come back. I'll drive you home. said they'd never seen anything like what happened to me. Doctors told me I was lucky. I should be just grateful to be alive. That I'm gonna live a perfectly normal life. People do just fine with one kidney. Some are even born with just one. <sighs> what 
God damn it, I wanted that decision to be mine. Not some maniac with a knife. My buddies keep saying. Come on, Castle. You're a tough guy. You can deal with it. And that's what I've been trying to do. But I can't. I feel like I'm losing control. And I don't know what to do. I'm just losing it. surprised to see you show up here last week. I definitely didn't expect you back tonight. How long has it been? Two years? Two and a half. Oh. It's strange how fate works, isn't it? You get raped and what do I do? Pull a disappearing act. And now here I am, a total mess. And who's at my side helping me through it? You. It's not about fate, Billy. It's about acknowledging our pain, our fear, violation, and learning to be able to trust again. Hmm. You're great. Hmm. Thanks. cars for a living, goddammit. I know cars, and that was no accident. Somebody tried to run me over. You've been in here, what, two, three times already this week? I wouldn't be here at all if you'd do your job. I do what I can, Mr. Castle. The police up north are doing what they can. As for you, you were admitted to the hospital for uh, anxiety attacks recently, am I correct? You lost your job after losing it behind the wheel. I didn't lose my job. I'm on leave. Then there's your arrest. Vandalism to a car. Again with the cars. What, you got a problem with cars, Mr. Castle? No, I don't have a problem with cars. I got a problem being on someone's hit list, though. You know what I think? I think you're losing it, Castle. That's what I think. You're losing it, pal. Oh, so now I'm crazy, is that it? I'm crazy because I want some goddamn answers! You want answers? I don't got none. All right, now get out of here. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Ace, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm just, uh, just a little tired. Okay. Uh, oh. What's this? Organ harvesting, status in third world nations. A little light reading? Listen to this. An alarming increase in black market organ harvesting in India, South America, and the Middle East has become a matter of grave concern to the World Board of Health. In Malaysia, a father of nine traded his youngest daughter's lung for 100 pounds of grain to feed his family during a drought. Aren't you depressed enough without reading this shit? Eric, people are desperate enough to sell their organs. You're a stockbroker, supply and demand. There are buyers out there. What are you saying? Well, what I'm saying is, if you needed someone's kidney to stay alive, mm -hmm. and you couldn't survive two years on a waiting list to get it, where would you go? Some third world country where people can barely feed themselves? Or would you want your new body part to come from someone in perfect health? Someone like me. Shit. 
is all too organized. Too set up. Someone's running a major business here. I'm gonna put him out of business. Did you hear about Mikey? House in escrow, USL, I don't know, maybe he was the middleman on your kidney deal. Very funny. Where is all his money coming from? Uh, you know, Mikey, when it comes to money, he's really tight-lipped. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna go do the course. You up for it? Um, no, you go ahead. I'm just gonna sit here for a while. Don't tell me you want my permission to skydive. Look, someone steals a car. They chop it, they paint it, they retag, and it's on the street the next day. Who's to say they're not doing the same thing with organs? You know my opinion on that. There's no black market. Whoever did this was very professional and very organized, but they left one clue. What? Me. I'm the clue, Lucy. There's gotta be something. Something, something medical, something about that operation. You know, that's interesting you should mention that. There was something with your stitches. They were, um, they were thicker than standard gut. I'll send them over to the lab, have them analyzed. Maybe they'll come up with something. Great. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Are you, um, hungry by any chance? What? Well, I was just wondering if, um, you wanted to have dinner with me. Technically, uh, I'm not your patient anymore. I'm fine. You said so yourself. I know this great place. It's small, quiet, and great service. Finished? Yes, thank you. It was delicious. Mm. Glad you liked it. Mm. I have something under my contact. You wear contacts? There, it's okay. What? You wear contacts? Yeah. What's the matter? <laughs> oh, Billy. Thousands of people wear contacts. Look at this. <laughs> I like this look. It's good. Oh, I like it's that. A good. Yeah, it's very doctorish. Doctorish. Yeah. Well, I guess that's good. So why'd you get into medicine anyway? My mother. Is she a nephrologist too? No. She died of uh, kidney failure. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. No, yeah, me too. She was on a waiting list, but uh, there was nothing I could do about it. I just sat there and watched her die. It must have been very painful. Yes, it was. It was or still is. Tell me something. If you found out who did this to you, could you forgive them? There was a time when I wouldn't have. But now... I don't honestly know. Well, I'll tell you what I know. I think it's high time we get you on a recuperative program. Oh, really? Mm. Does that, um... Does that involve kissing? Oh, yes. Kissing is mandatory. That's, uh... That's very therapeutic. Mm. 
How about intense, passionate lovemaking? Oh, yes, that's... That's... Very healing. Oh, yeah. Mm. I have to cover for a friend. No. I do. No. I'm sorry. Hey. You gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, I'll be okay. You'll be okay. Mm. Oh, don't start. Don't start. <laughs> Why? Hey. I'll call you later. Okay. into my house and tried to drug me Good. with this. God, I said they were trying to kill you. Wouldn't be the first time. Where's Lucy? She's not here. You sure she's covering there for somebody? There are four doctors inside on rotation. They all report to me. Check for yourself. Lucy, pick up the phone. You there? It's Billy. Where the hell are you? Lucy? I'm scared shitless. Did you call the police? Yeah, they said they'd get over here when they could. I got this feeling they think I'm crazy, like uh, I imagine these things. How do you break in? Through the kitchen door. And I'm not sure it was a he. How do you mean? I couldn't see. He had a ski mask on. We were wrestling a little bit. Keep this with you, even when you sleep, and don't be afraid to use it. I don't need that. Billy, a couple of days ago, you didn't need anything. Keep the mace. 
You may need it. All right, thanks. Still bother you? Only every day. You're a wonderful person, Cassie. Not so bad yourself. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Call me if you need me. Okay. Hey, look who it is. One kidney castle. Hey, you know, I really like doing your job. How's things going with you? Not bad. Hey, show me that scar now. Some other time. No. I said, show me that scar. I said no. What's the matter with you, you wuss? You want to see my scar, Joe? Yeah. Huh? Yes, I do. All right, I'm going to show it <laughs> to you. All right? All right. Here, take a look. Huh? Can you see it? Uh, no, where is it? Right there. Can you see it? No, no, I don't see nothing. Right Where under there. Where? Now you see it, now you don't. Well, look, I'm not sure how to put this. I hope you're not here to ask for your old job back. We've been doing some hiring since you left, and frankly, we're up to here with drivers. They came for my blood test. A blood test? From my physical? You said you were gonna check on it for me. Oh, yeah, I remember. And beta lab. They do all our blood tests. Hmm. Could anyone else have seen it? Not that I know of. They're confidential. Just the lab and the insurance company. Got any addresses? Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Phil. Yeah, take care of yourself, Billy. Our staff had access to the stunt factory files. Uh, let's see, there's Mary, there's Talia, there's Stan, and a few others. I need to talk to them. What, all of them? Yeah. Okay, uh, come back after hours. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Doc. No problem. Oh. Oh. May I help you? No, I'm all right. Excuse me. Hey, hey, come back here. Will you listen to me for a minute? She recognized me. She ran because she'd seen me before on my goddamn back with my guts hanging out. Whoever she's working for gets this order for this rare tissue type. Talia dials mine up at the lab, and suddenly I'm the donor. And now that I start getting close, she's dead. Junkies OD all the time. How do you know she was a junkie? She got fired from her hospital job because of drug abuse. She had tracks all over her body like a freaking railroad. Case closed, Castle. You want to come down to the morgue, kiss her goodbye? You know, you're a real insensitive prick. Thanks. What are you doing here? I think the question of the hour is, what were you last night? You weren't at the hospital. Of course I was. I came here looking for you, Lucy. Just tell me where you were, goddammit. 
I was in the lab half the night getting your stitches analyzed. Oh, yeah, and what about your friend, the one you were covering for? Billy, what's going on? Someone broke into my house last night after you left. They tried to kill me with a syringe. Today I went to the lab to do my blood test. A technician saw me and took off running. I found her an hour later, dead. She used to work here, Lucy, as an OR nurse. Talia Green, ring any bells? No. I don't know any Talia Green. But I did lie to you last night. I didn't, I didn't have to cover for anyone. It's, uh, it's been a long time since I've been with anyone. Since Jonathan Cross? He told you? I just, I needed time to, to think about what was happening. I'm really afraid to get involved again, Billy. There's something you should say. Your sutures aren't standard hospital gut. They're government issue. The kind you find in federal penitentiaries. They're 10 cents a foot cheaper. You think whoever did this to me is some jailhouse doctor? Mm, yep. But if he's such a good surgeon, why is he working in a prison? Mm, lousy bedside manner. I've been cross-checking names with penitentiaries. Well, there's nothing we can do until morning. Well, is there, uh, is there something I can do? As a matter of fact, there is. Cold. Thanks. Listen, I'm on call today, so if anything earth shattering happens, I'll let you know. You promise? Promise. Hmm. Have a nice day. Scared the hell out of me. Armin Paris went to see Lucy about a month ago. Kidney stones. Well, that's what she does. She's a kidney specialist. It was the same day his credit cards were stolen, Billy. I can't believe it. And there's something else. There's a laboratory. Uh, well, hang on a second. What about that? Page Dr. Flynn. It's an emergency. I'm sorry. She's left the hospital. Is there something I can help you with? Lucy, pick up the phone. Are you there? Pick up the goddamn phone. Stock. I don't know how to tell you this. What are you saying, Mike? Really? Say it, goddammit! Just say it! I just wanted to talk to you, man. Billy, the money was from my grandmother. She died and left me this cash. I, I wanted you to think that I scored big at work because it's what you would have done. You're always doing these great things, man. You wanted to top me. My life's a disaster, Mike. No, it isn't. You're always the one who gets the prize. All these years, I've been jealous. 
some friend, huh? A good friend, Mike. Thanks, Billy. What's going on? It's happened again, Billy. Somebody else has lost a kidney. He went home with a strange girl, woke up in a motel with an IV in his arm. Where is he? I gotta talk to He's him. He's at home. It's Tom Spikes. You met him when you first came to the hospital, remember? Same physical profile as you, in great shape. Well, a few days ago, the lab sent over his uh, blood workup from his physical. His report also included a test for tissue typing. Billy, I did not make a test for tissue typing. Another doctor requested that. It was Flynn. Jesus, you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Now, Tom hasn't told the police. He hasn't been to the hospital, and he's in bad shape. Why? Why would she do it? Who the hell knows? Spikes? Could you read that? I haven't got my contacts in. I trusted you. What are you talking about? Get away from him, Billy. He's gonna Lucy. kill you. Lucy, please don't do this. Oh, I know, Jonathan. I know all about what you did to Billy and Spikes and God knows how many others. Don't listen to her, Billy. Ask her what she's doing here. How does she know where Spikes lives? I followed you from the hospital. His name is in the records. What records? He works at Terminal Island Prison twice a month. It's a volunteer program. What's that got to do with anything? My stitches were done with supplies issued from a prison hospital. Billy, for God's sake. What about Armand Paris? His credit cards. He was her patient. He belongs to your country club. You could have lifted him there. Billy, I swear to you. She's framing me. You and Spike, you're the same man. She hates guys like you. I love you, Billy. Could we have made love the way we did if I hated you? Billy, I'm telling you. She's crazy. And she wants to destroy you. <laughs> just couldn't let it go, could you? She ruined everything. Ruin? There are two dead bodies in this house. Give me the gun, Lucy. Give it to me. Why couldn't you have been like the others? Hmm? Didn't you have to be like this. Let's go. Let's go! Lucy, that's why you did it for the fucking money? This has nothing to do with money. Sit down. You can't play God, Lucy. Nobody can. That's not the way I see it, Billy. I take from the rich and I give to the poor. Your kidney is now pumping away in a woman in Luxembourg. She would have died without it. like my mother. So, you see, you've made a real contribution. 
Fuck you and the stupid sermon. Get on with it. Shoot me. I don't want to shoot you. There's a teenage boy in Mexico who needs your other kidney. And they tell me he's very bright. An honor student. Think of the boy. He's only 16 years old. Take off your shirt. Take off your shirt! something naughty boy Where are you gonna go? Huh? It's over. Easy now. I'd sooner die than let you touch me.
Good job. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Whew. Wow. Hey, you guys. Congratulations. Man. Thanks. That was amazing. Is this champagne? This stuff gives me nightmares. Are you crazy, Castle? That's champagne. Hey, here's to us. Good friends are hard to find. Cheers.